So bullet chess championship starts in like 10, 20 minutes. So I'm going to just do some puzzles, I think, um, until that, that point. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. So this should be check and you take because the king has no square. So it's a back rank checkmate. So now here you just take, take, and then you take back and it's just checkmate because king has no squares, no squares the king can come up to. So it's just clean checkmate. Same thing, back rank checkmate, king has no squares to go to. Same thing, back rank checkmate, king has no squares to go to. Close to a back rank checkmate, checkmate, but not quite. So you go check and the pawn holds the queen and the king has no, no squares. You just eat the queen. Bring the king back and then make a queen next move. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm gonna take it very slow. Um, now you just go queen takes pawn, and this is a classic throbbing checkmate. The bishop and the queen are together. King has no squares to go to anywhere, so the king is just stuck in a checkmate. This is again a back rank checkmate. You take, and now you sack your queen because when white takes back with the rook, you take back. So it's check, and then again no squares for the king. Checkmate. You probably take because queen and bishop guard each other. So they create the batter on the diagonal. So takes is right. And now you go over with check. King has no squares. Pawn, this pawn holds the square. And the king can't go back. So it's just checkmate. Okay, here I think you just go. It's just queen g7. Checkmate and one. Okay, now here I think you take the knight. Because when white takes back, you can go for the checkmate on diagonal. It's just a battery. So I think you take, take, and then it's just mate. Now here you trade the queen. So you go check. And you fork the king, fork the rook, and you're just ahead by five points. This would be check. I think it's check. King has no squares anywhere, so it's to go back. And then you go double check with the uh, rook and the knight both attacking. King comes up, and then it's checkmate in the corner. Because rook here, king is holding the knight, so it's just checkmate. Okay, what is this? White to play. Check. Rook holds two squares. Bishop holds the diagonal. Checkmate. Takes, takes. We, we make a trade, but the thing is when I take and he takes and I take, I have one bishop at the end. So you see, I have two, we both have two rooks, but now I have a bishop. I have this extra bishop that, that, that means I'm ahead by three after I take his bishop. I think this is the classic uh, Arabian horse checkmate. You go check, check, and check. And the knight, th this is a really beautiful. Knight covers both squares. King can't go anywhere here. King is stuck in the corner. You double stack, go for the, go for the line, and now you're just ahead by a piece. Trade fossil takes 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 check and you have one two rooks and your opponent is a rook and a knight okay so now i think it's 93 check and now you can't take the rook here with the knight um because then white goes rook takes rook takes so what you do here is you make a check and the thing is when you go check the rook blocks you takes the knight and queen are guarding king comes up you take so now you take, king comes up because, I mean, if when you take the knight, protects the queen, king comes up and then you go checkmate again. So it's very, very tricky. I think you just go here and you pin the tail on the donkey. Uh, white loses the queen, so you go rook a5. And again, queen can't move out of the way because that puts your king in check. So your queen guards the rook and you're going to trade a rook for a queen. Go king h8. And now rook takes, uh, rook takes queen. Um, play rook takes pawn. I think this is just good. You have one, two, three stacks. So you're just ahead. And now you go check. No, I'm doing commentary with Levy, you guys. So let's go check and mate. Check, take the juicer and take the juicer. I think there's just a fossil. You 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 check the king, but the queen's under attack right here. So you take and then it attacks the king. So he has to take and then you win the queen. Thank you to MHQG for the prime. Thank you to MHQG. I think you just go check check and now you checkmate because the rook covers the squares on the diagonal or on the file and the bishop attacks on the diagonal it's another ice skater check and again king can't come forward it's just stuck on the back it's probably the last ice skater we'll see here i think you go check king comes up and you just eat the queen for free and i guess you go here probably you go rook b1 check and now you go down and you infiltrate on the back rank with your queen which is deadly you take and now you're just up by a rook takes you lose the rook so what you do first you you guard your rook but you also attack his rook and then you're free to capture because the bishop is awesome it guards the rook now so you eat the knight and now you're ahead by a knight i think this is check and now you go here and you create the lolly checkmate on g7 
trade fork the rook and the bishop and take the bishop you can take the rook here you can also push the pawn I think if you push the pawn the rook takes you make a queen so then you have a queen and a knight versus two rooks which is better now here I think you go rookie one idea is to go rookie eight and check and win the game I'm um, gonna queen f3 check king g7 you have another check here to hit the king and the rook or is it rook c1 wait this is actually a little bit tricky wait there are two moves here which one is right which one is wrong I think it's rook e1 it is you go check and now you check the king and you attack the rook and you're ahead and now he blocks basically so now if you trade it's even and you can't take but you can remove the king from the protection of the queen by going check you tickle the king king is distracted it has to capture and then you lose the queen white can trade I, I guess I could trade here trade in rook b8 it's good thank you for the uh thank you for the two two months puck handler appreciate it thank you data kinesis for the night I think you just taking you go here because the bishop is a little bit trapped here you take here you take the bishop is just kind of trapped and now you block and the point is when you block bishop comes here you trade and you're ahead bishop comes here you capture it and you're attacking with two and if bishop comes here you trade and you take with the queen because the diagonal plays yes in that previous one there, there were two bad moves and one good move um that that, that, that was the important thing there was there's one move that was okay the other two allowed a, allowed a, a discovery check I think it's check and you take because when black takes you play here and you fork the king and the bishop and you're ahead by when you go check you fork the king and the bishop and then one two black is one two three minor piece you have one two three four so it's it's winning I think you go check and you create a battery here oh I just missed the mate in one I should have explained that better and then I wouldn't have played that move if I explained that better I don't play that move but I was trying to rush through that one uh, that was stupid of me um because probably just rookie two and takes and check and takes I think you go check King moves check Queen blocks and then you can check and take a pawn you also have knight g6 but that doesn't look right somehow you also have knight g6 here a couple options I'm not gonna restart no no because we have levy coming on soon and um and so we'll just we'll, we'll keep going I guess it's just check and takes huh could be takes I honestly don't know which move it is here my instinct says it's knight f7 it is okay I think you take and then what you do is you take and now you have very weird kind of checkmate idea with the bishop and the queen but you also hit the rook at the same time so it's again another right triangle as always and now you eat the rook you can check and go rook b1 and because you have to stop white from making a queen and the thing is now you have a rook versus a knight but you also have a pass pawn so it's pretty easily winning must be takes and now you you go over you check the king no squares because your queen holds so he has to block and now I think you just take with the rook okay you do I think you go check and now you check because the, the the fork pawn holds the knight and if king comes over you take you can also take with the rook it must be the rook though or is it ch no I assume it's rook a I even though I honestly I don't know I guess you check and you go for a checkmate here with the bishop because now you threaten checkmate along the diagonal and you hold all the squares so let's go here let's take the queen it's queen b5 you take with check you trade now you see you have two ponies versus one bishop so you're ahead by three points here in the exchange well I do puzzles like this or is today a one-off um I mean I do puzzle rush quite frequently I can explain from time to time it really depends um you go check you take and there's some way to create a checkmate here I don't know if it's check here check doesn't look right though um okay what are the moves here let's think about this way white current one thing I always tell people when they're doing puzzles uh, I think you told for again for the 11 is you want to be aware what's the material account white has a queen two rooks and a knight you have a queen a rook and a bishop so right now you're down by a whole rook you're down by five roughly um in terms of the piece value so if white has time to like even sack the rook for the bishop white is going to win the game here so you have to have a go for a checkmate um I think it's check I think you check and check yeah it's check and now what happens is you go queen check because all the squares are covered by your rook so when you go queen check if white takes a pawn you have a checkmate with the bishop and the queen if white blocks you still have a checkmate yes yeah, so now you go check because bishop holds the queen king can't go back because rook covers all three squares King has to come up and then you very quietly push the juicer and make a checkmate 
yeah okay this is again material count white is a queen and two bishops black has two rooks and a bishop so what, what are we looking for here if we don't check me we're getting made it because white has a queen mate a bishop mate there are a lot of I can't draw arrows yeah you go bishop c3 or queen e4 for checkmate so um the moves that make sense are queen or rook f8 maybe rook f8 and knight is also an idea here I wait if you make a queen white takes check king e3 you take and you actually get checkmated by bishop c3 because the king is in the middle of the board and you just die on the diagonals so rook f8 maybe is not the, or not rook f8 sorry queen is maybe not the right move here actually wait a second this is tricky I think you actually check and now you under promote to a pony because if you make a queen you still get checkmated on the diagonal so you make a pony and now you just win you move the king up and the king up um there's queen c7 creating the checkmate and on g7 I think and if check you just come over if check you can just backwards capture with your queen and now again you have a rook and a knight versus one bishop so you're way ahead so it's all pretty good Okay, knight b4 is a move rook d6 is a move as well queen c3 is also a move I think you just take check take take because then you have a fork of the queen and the king so now queen g5 looks good um are there any other moves is the question is, is that's really a big question okay so queen g5 rook f3 maybe f4 is a move here hmm I don't know what the move is rook g5 also no but rook g5 can't be right because if you take with the rook from if you think about it psychologically from a puzzle perspective um it's just a game after the night move so it has to be this where do I live in the U.S. right now I'm um right now I'm in I'm in uh I'm in Los Santos California f4 is a move e5 is a move actually e5 is a very interesting move here bc starts now doesn't start at nine or not well let, let me check um once let me write love you a message I thought it starts at nine all right you guys uh before we jump to the coverage then I'm gonna take a short break and um and I'll be right back in a couple of minutes and love and I will cover the uh bullet chest championship so I'm gonna take a short break and I'll be right back you guys 